The safe operation of any gas appliance requires an adequate air supply to the appliance. The safe operation of an open flue gas heater can be compromised by a negative pressure environment. This video explains what negative pressure is and its effect on gas appliances. AS NZS 5601 Part 1 2013 Clause 6.4.1 Adequacy of air supply states that gas appliances shall be installed in locations with adequate ventilation for complete combustion of gas, proper operation of the flue, and to maintain the temperature of the immediate surroundings at safe limits under normal operating conditions. This diagram shows the correct operation of open flue heaters. The arrows show how air is drawn into the appliance from the room for combustion. The products of combustion exit via the flue and into the atmosphere. If there is insufficient ventilation in the room or building, the installation is non-compliant and additional ventilation is required. Refer AS NZS 5601 Part 1 2013 Clause 6.3.1 Adverse Effective Air Movement Systems states Gas appliances shall not be installed where the operation of any ventilation system air distribution system, fan or air blower could, under any circumstances, a. Deprive the gas appliance of the air required for combustion and draft diverter dilution, or b. Otherwise adversely affect the operation of the gas appliance. A negative pressure environment can be created within the room or building when exhaust fans are turned on, if there is inadequate permanent ventilation. In an attempt to equalise the pressure in the room, air is drawn into the building from external openings. In an open flue heater, the flue can operate as an opening to relieve the negative pressure. To prevent this from happening, install ventilation in the room to equalise the air pressure. This will enable the appliance to operate safely. To achieve the greatest negative pressure effect, close external doors and windows in the building. Then, open or close internal doors to create the maximum potential negative pressure. Switch on all extraction fans. Now carry out a smoke test. A smoke test must be carried out when your gas appliance is off and the flue is cold. Using a smoke match, check that smoke is not drawn away from the appliance draft diverter relief openings or from the appliance combustion air intake. If smoke is drawn away from the appliance, slowly open a window in the room where the appliance is installed to equalise the air pressure. The open window will act as a guide to how much additional fixed ventilation is required. When the smoke is drawn towards the downdraft diverter opening, the heater in general, or straight up towards the ceiling, then the gap in the window opening is providing sufficient ventilation to overcome the effects of the negative pressure caused by the extraction fans. The size of the window opening is an indication of the fixed ventilation required to be installed. Please be mindful that on windy days you may see intermittent disturbances of smokes at the downdraft diverter from wind gusts at the flue cowl. This is not a sign of negative pressure. Negative pressure will draw a constant stream of smoke away from the heater. It's time to conduct a CO spillage test once you have established your installation has sufficient air supply for combustion and that extraction fans are not having an adverse effect on the operation of the appliance.